Hello fellow flight simmers, I'm Eric from Norway and uh, I've just gotten a box sent to me from Switzerland from Brunner um, of the famous force feedback Brunner yokes, uh, fabulous uh, masterpieces of uh, engineering and um, now I get to uh, try out one of the uh, rudders. The reason I'm doing this video, I've never done any unboxing videos in my life, so this is going to be a uh, horrifically, uh, what do you call it? Um, it's going to be a dumpster fire, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, just here, I got a box I got this morning from uh, Bronner. It contains the uh, CLSE Mark II rudder pedals. And I'm going to unbox it and see how what it is and uh, then I'm gonna connect it to my simulator and see uh, if they indeed work and uh, one interesting thing I think for people is um, to see how this compares to uh, a very high-end set of uh, non force feedback uh, rudder pedals I know people compare the uh, SciTech and the uh, CH products up towards the uh, MFG crosswind pedals, which I've had previously. And then you have people comparing the MFG crosswinds to, for example, the Thrustmaster TPM rudders. Fantastic set of rudders that I have now. And now I get to step, uh, I guess, uh, a couple of steps up to the Brunner pedals. And um, they need to be really, really good to really be much better than the uh, Thrustmaster TPM uh, pedals. But um, TPR, I think they're called. Yeah. So let's get into the unboxing. I spared you the uh, mess of me cutting up this box, but I haven't really taken out anything yet, so I'm excited to see what this is. All right. Presentation is not uh, Brunner's strong suit, but they are not Apple. And that's in a good way. Uh, while Apple products are uh, delicate and uh, nicely prepared, this is uh, more high-end. Well, I got air, more air. This is a USB. A cable. This goes into the uh, yoke itself. This goes into the computer. The same with the um, with the broader yoke. This is uh, to be set aside. And uh, they, you got a tool. I think this is for um, to do a frontal lobotomy um, or something. As uh, Tom Waits says, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. And I think this is for uh, adjusting uh, tension on the brakes, perhaps. Pamphlet, quick start manual. Uh, it is rather simple uh, to, to connect these uh, things. Um, it's almost plug and play, basically, um, as far as I'm, uh, my uh, experience with the uh, yoke goes. Uh, it's a bit of uh, tweaking afterwards. It's simple tweaking, but it needs to be done. But afterwards, it's uh, it's it's all done. All right, what is this? Uh, hardware of some sort. How the hell do you open this? Oh yeah, of course, yeah. It needs power, this. This it needs power, as you can see. This is uh, rather uh, heavy duty stuff. Now comes the uh, pedals themselves.
are really, really heavy. They are actually heavier outside the box than inside the box. There is some, there is some magic going on there. This is what you get. Rather simple stuff, but uh, pretty sure it's not very simple inside here. Um, yeah, it's uh, completely dead, as uh, is very common with these things when it's not powered on, because it's uh, there's no resistance. The brakes are, they are really heavy. So uh, sitting in a rolling chair like this is going to be uh, be some something to deal with when uh, breaking but then again chalks in fabulous stuff I'm sure other flight simmers need to know about these um, simple rubbery things that you can chalk your wheels with uh, you can find them on Amazon or whatever very cheap stuff and uh, very useful so you don't slide backwards when breaking. Okay, let's see how these compare in the size and uh, construction to the uh, Trustmaster pedals, which I've got sitting right here. Bit of a size difference. Uh, concept is the same. Um, the problem with many Flutter pedals is that they have these big um, platforms that you set your whole foot into. Uh, and only old time uh, kind of ward birds uh, um, of the uh, Boeing B29 ish size have that concept. Like, for example, the MFG crosswinds or the CH uh, rudder pedals, they have that, uh, the whole foot goes into them. Whereas, uh, what um, what I'm interested in, at least in, is uh, flying GA planes, where you have your heels on the ground and your toes are pushing against this part of the rudder. And then you lift your foot up to press the brakes. So they are um, fundamentally the same, except these are pendulums. That's what the P in the TPR stands for, Thrustmaster Pendular Rudders. Whereas these are, the magic happens inside here. Um, all right, that's the unboxing of the Brunner. Uh, Brunner rudder. And uh, now it's time to connect these two together. And let's see how they speak together. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post a follow-up video. I guess I have to now. Um, so uh, leave any questions if you have any and uh, have a happy holidays. Uh, Merry Yuletide. See ya.